Here's a throwback to the intro they played for the 2004 Florida-Tennessee game. White's Fort, a lone outpost built on the banks of the Tennessee River in 1786 by Captain James White. As a permanent sentry for all those volunteers who were bold enough to challenge the southern frontier. A meeting place of great importance, it once hosted a treaty signing between George Washington's administration and the Cherokee Indians. And its imposing walls provided safe haven from enemies, including wild beasts indigenous to the area, bears and panthers and wolves. More than two centuries later, another fortress guards the banks of the Tennessee River. Neyland Stadium, also a meeting place of great importance, built to repel wild beasts indigenous to the current Tennessee frontier, tigers and hogs and bulldogs. One beast, however, has made a habit of successfully penetrating this modern fortress. The Florida Gator, swift and sudden attacks. In zone bound and caught for a touchdown. Interrupted by short-lived ball redemption. The kick is in the air, and the kick this time is no, sir, Ray. The Gators have stolen victories. It's going to be in the end zone. It's a touchdown, Jamar Gaffney, and the Gators have taken the lead. And left the Volunteers swamped in a flood. Another fumble. That is the third bad exchange. This is unbelievable. So once again, along the banks of the mighty Tennessee River, as summer silently fades into fall, volunteers everywhere, beware. The Gators are lurking in the night. A gorgeous night in eastern Tennessee. We welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS, where more than 108,000 will gather for this SEC conference opener, a traditional season opener between the Gators of Florida and the Volunteers of 